Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another of my Part of Exile videos. Today I will again show you a loot from 100 map runs that I did yesterday. This time I chose the Underground River map tier 10 uh, with the linear layout so it can be easily uh, and quickly full cleared. And again I was looking for a map that offers something extra compared to, uh, to most other maps, something that could uh, make it more profitable to run the map and in this case uh, it was the hunter's reward divination card that uh, can be traded in for the taming and because it only requires uh, three cards for the set i was thinking that uh, even a few cards can actually make this uh, uh, map uh, quite decent when you think about the price of the taming now around 200 uh, chaos uh, that means even one card is worth over one exalt so it would be a nice boost to the loot but uh, well did we get them we'll see in a moment as usual i'll go through the complete loot and uh, i'll tell you how much i invested into these rounds how much i got back and what exactly i uh, or what exactly actually dropped so i'll start with the investment Again, I bought all the maps. Uh, the map is quite cheap. Uh, it was only one chaos per map because I wasn't patient. If I was patient, I'd probably be able to get uh, uh, a better price, but uh, well, not that much better. So I just took one chaos per map and I managed to buy 100 maps in, let's say, like two or three hours. So that was quite decent. I had... Uh, significantly bigger problems for example buying those spider forest last times uh even though it was only tier 6 map i was buying them for one kills as well and it took me like twice that long so not that hard to get this map uh as usual i uh chiseled all of them and arc them so uh, it's 100 chaos for uh, those maps, then chisels and algs, and some rerolling because again I can't run element reflect. Uh, together the investment was worth like 300 chaos. Uh, the prices of uh, algs and especially chisels are going up, so that's uh, why the investment was quite high. 300 uh, chaos uh, right now is, I have to say, quite a lot. With current ratio for exalts, it's. Uh, like five and a half for tier 10 maps it's it's more than i expected but well uh if it was a lot or not depends on uh how much we get back uh, that will show us if it's worth it or not so what did we get back i'll start with uh, the smaller currencies and uh, some uh, uh, essences here uh, nothing unusual uh, i did um, or i got uh, uh, less uh, jewelers than I expected. Usually I get uh, like uh, 200 more than this, but well, probably RNG just didn't give me that many uh, six sockets. I got uh, more essences than usual, uh, but well, here we really can't get uh, that much value. Together, this tab is worth like 90 chaos. Um, so we yeah, have not much to see here and we can move on here it's a bit more interesting these are the more valuable currencies together with uh, divination cards and splinters uh, here you can see that i dropped two exalted orbs uh, that uh, helped me a lot get uh, back the investment overall uh, 31 uh, chaos was less than expected i think that the average for 100 maps is like 40 to 45 uh but well you we got those exalts so i shouldn't complain then uh, regal orbs as usual i was doing regal recipes uh, from uh, uh, what i dropped again the limiting factor was uh, amulets and i got enough amulets to get uh, 30 regal recipes so that's this and uh, six uh, regals dropped uh, some other currencies, no surprise there, really. Uh, I will say that gem cutters, we got 11, but 6 of those is from uh, uh, from superior gems. And again, didn't get the single superior gems that will be worth keep Superior gem that will be worth keeping. So that's uh, currencies. And here we have splinters. I 
got unlucky with Cheryl this time, uh, saw like three times, but never got uh, that many uh, that many splinters. Once I got, I think eight or nine, and then the two others were really horrible. So thirteen together. Even Ulnetol didn't show up. Uh, that often, but the remaining breach lords, uh, especially Tool and Ash, I saw even the bosses uh, multiple times. So we got two breach stones this time, but well, because it's these uh, cheaper, uh, cheaper breach stones, the value is not that high. Overall, the value of uh, all these uh, orbs together with the uh, splinters is 360 chaos and of course again i'll repeat that uh, quite a large large part of that are those two exalted orbs then we have divination cards divided uh, into cards that drop in this map specifically and then cards that i got from uh, diviner strong boxes uh this time i got three uh, diviner strong boxes in uh, those hundred rounds so it's quite a few extra divination cards and um, i'll quickly show you what i uh, or what uh, uh, these cards are from these map specific uh, cards it's uh, multiple sets of uh, wolf's shadow if i get a decent troll on heron's fury would have to be really a top roll, then it could sell for maybe like 15 chaos, but the range is quite large there, so I kinda doubt that uh, I'll get too much from these. Uh, Gambler, as uh, uh, any other map, uh, these uh, drop everywhere, and uh, Treasure Hunter is also specific for this uh, map. And I forgot about one more, uh, not this one here. Uh, also scavenger that uh, drop from uh, the boss on this map so I got four of those but uh, Karkas Jack really isn't worth uh, that much uh, right now so maybe on the start of the league if you can run these maps early this can be worth something but right now really this basically worth nothing um, and um, as you can see, there is no taming, or taming, not taming, uh, Hunter's uh, Reward. So in 100 maps, I didn't get a single Hunter's Reward card. And that means, even though the map is worth like one exalt, it's not worth farming. The drop rate seems to be horrible. It's similar, it seems, as the Taste of Hate Divination card. Uh, just also just is not dropping. I can't recommend uh, farming the taming this way because you'd spend forever doing it. Uh, <clears throat> this cover the card that drops only in this map, and then from those uh, Diviner strong boxes, I got uh, from more interesting stuff: the Void and uh, two, uh, two chaotic dispositions. Uh, plus, I thought that the uh, Fletcher actually was worth something, but it's like one chaos, so I can just uh, throw it uh, among the other basically worthless cards. Uh, from complete sets, you uh, can see that really didn't get much. And from the other cards, these are cards they got. Uh, and, well, I really worried like one chaos or less. I check the prices and maybe uh, the volume of steel boxes I should have put aside because that's worth like 30 chaos right now. Overall, the uh, divination cards <clears throat> are worth around like 45 chaos uh, thanks to the chaotic dispositions and void, uh, which are worth at least something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now we have. Uh, uh, these cover it, and of course I didn't get only orbs and divination cards, I also got some items. When we check uh, those, again, uh, like two and a half tab of uh, unique items, but uh, uh, as usual, most of them are garbage that will end up just being vendored. <clears throat> so here you can see all the uh, items that are either bad or rolled so low that uh, they are not worth selling. Uh, here some more and um, those that are worth keeping are here. 
I kept uh, Wall's Vision and the Anvil because I want to try to corrupt them. Wall's Vision, I want to try to get uh, Malachi's Vision just in case that's worth, I don't know, like 20 kills right now. And the Anvil, I'd like to try to get plus one curse on this. Uh, but the chance is very low, so I didn't even count this as value because uh, without the corruption that I want to get, they are worth like one chaos, even less than that. Um, from other uniques, two unique maps, nothing special, and uh, the only two unique items that have at least some value is um, Call of the Brotherhood and uh, Witchfire Brew, both were between like 8 to 10 chaos right now. I got one yellow out item that is actually worth keeping, and that's this uh, power ring. Uh, it has a horrible base, so it's lowering the value, but uh, uh, two, let's say, decent resistances with, uh, again, decent energy shield, decent accuracy. Uh, it's like everything is like tier 2, tier 3. Uh, together with Crafted Face, this is gonna sell. I don't expect that much, but uh, should be like 10 KOs quite easily. So I added this uh, among the other items that have some value. And uh, these items together, I estimate the value to be around like 40 chaos. Uh, so that covers items. And um, the last thing that uh, I calculated to the overall profit or overall value uh, that we got back from the maps uh, are map drops. Here, I already vendored all the white maps because they have basically no value, so I just traded it up 3 to 1. Uh, it gave me, gave me some extra tier 6 maps, uh, but from that also I just put uh, aside some strand maps. But even strand maps uh, don't have uh, that much value anymore. Uh, Spider Forest, I got 2 from, uh, uh, from the 3 to 1 recipe, so maybe we can count that as like two chaos here uh, but tier 6 tier 7 tier 8 you can see always where the tier ends there is an empty empty square so tier 6 tier 7 tier 8 tier 9 really not much value in those but then because uh, uh, I sh reshaped my atlas I got the only uh, shaped mesa map as uh, the tier 10 and you can see that I got quite a few of those so that's some value that's like, um, I think, 70 chaos there. I'm not sure if I have them uh, have them separately. I don't think so. Uh, but uh, I'll sell, I will tell you the overall value of the tier 10 plus maps. Uh, so it's the shape Mesa and then Underground C because that's what the Underground River is connected to. I'm actually not... Uh, uh, or I don't have the Underground Sea opened on uh, on the Atlas, but because Underground River is connected to it, it was dropping anyway. So Underground Sea, but it's not too bad, because uh, 3 to 1, they can be traded into Vault, and Vault is still worth like 4 to 5 kills, so this is not bad. And then the only tier 11 map that uh, I have in my Atlas is the Shaped Spider Forest. So quite a few of these, and when you check these maps uh, on PoE trade, you will see that there is only a few of them. So I again counted the value between four to five chaos, uh, and uh, then the overall value of the maps uh, together gave me like 160 chaos, which is not bad. And I actually think that I would get this uh, amount of chaos, especially uh, from these maps uh, when I trade in uh, those underground C3 to 1 and Spider Forest. I think they would sell quite quickly because there is not that many of them available on PoE trade and people like to run them. So if you want uh, to sell maps, not, uh, not run them, you would get a decent amount of uh, chaos from this. Uh, and this covers all the uh, items that I calculated. Uh, and when we uh, when we add all the numbers together, we will get. Uh, uh, I got seven hundred and two chaos. So let's say seven hundred chaos. Uh, like one seventh of that are of course exalts. We can't really rely on that. They would drop every time. 
but uh, let's say uh, 600 plus 100, let's say it this way, which means we got like twice as much that we invested, which is not bad. I honestly didn't expect to get that much back from these because uh, when I realized that I probably won't get um, the Hunter's Reward, I thought I'd be lucky if I get back uh, the investment. Well, I got a lot more, uh, but as I said, part of it are those Exalted Orbs, and the other part is that the maps that I got back, especially the Tier 11, uh, are maps that uh, are worth quite a lot, and it's only thanks to the way how I spec my Atlas so if you have all the maps uh, uncovered there's some tier 11 and tier 10s that are basically worthless so that would uh, lower the value but i think that no matter what you still should get like uh, twice the investment back uh from from 100 maps so even though the uh, Hunter's reward is not dropping you won't lose currency when running underground river so that's uh this and of course, uh, as the last thing, I was collecting uh, uh, sorcery boots and leather belts. So these are two full tabs of leather belts, a few extra here, and almost two tabs full of uh, sorcery boots. You can count this as a currency as well, like five to one. But uh, I'm gonna use these myself. So as usual, we'll uh, finish the video with uh, some chanting. How many do we have? Uh, 60 should be more than enough and again it would be really nice to finish the video with the uh, chance sky for it at uh, the chance is real low so let's see okay nothing here and do we have enough 24 36 we don't hmm yeah. As expected, no surprise here. And again, if in case I get uh, a headhunter from those leather belts, I will uh, just put it on YouTube as a separate short video. Uh, and of course, as uh, uh, usual. Uh, on the end or at the end of this video, there will be some highlights, those uh, Exalted Orb drops and uh, Diviner Strong Boxes, but yeah, didn't get uh, that much this time, so uh, don't expect some, uh, some uh, super uh, exciting drops like the Doctor last time, this time really just Exalts and uh, Diviner Strong Boxes. Uh, and this means that we are done with the video, so as usual, I hope that you liked it, that you're gonna join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time, bye-bye!